Dan, good morning. To drive this point home, we just learned from the FDNY about a report of a pedestrian who was struck yesterday evening, sent to the hospital on 61st and Roosevelt Avenue in Woodside, Queens. That is just the latest incident of traffic violence. And transit advocates say that we have the tools needed to make city streets safer. safer. We are just not allowed to use them because of state law. Traffic crashes killing 12 New Yorkers in just the last seven days. The most recent happened Friday when a 38 year old woman was hit and killed crossing 21st Street in Astoria. Transit advocates say part of the solution is simple. Keep the safety cameras rolling. A new study from Transportation Alternatives found nearly 60% of all traffic deaths happen when New York City's speed cameras are off from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. as required under state law. Department of Transit Commissioner Yadonis Rodriguez wants the cameras operating 24 7 under New York City's control. He's heading to Albany today to ask state lawmakers to turn over the keys. New York City should have the complete authority to use automatic enforcement and a speed camera. We need to hold dangerous and reckless drivers accountable for their actions. According to transportation alternatives, traffic deaths spiked 44% during the first three months of 2022. Traffic injuries and fatalities are up for the fourth year in a row. But the group says that cameras could be the solution, citing a 72% decline in speeding at camera locations and a 55% decrease in deadly crashes since their introduction. Last week, Mayor Adams announced a $4 million ad campaign targeting dangerous driving. He also promised to redesign problem intersections and add more protected areas for cyclists and pedestrians. People are getting hurt. Families are being devastated and we are taking actions in a real way. New York City voters overwhelmingly support the use of these cameras. A Siena College poll found that 78% of voters in the city are in favor of speed cameras in school zones. Reporting live in the Upper East Side, I'm Katie Carrado, X11 News. All right, Katie, thank you.